What's up, all in media squad? It's your boy Cookie. Like always, thank you for watching the videos I put up and just keep running those numbers up. And if you're new, please subscribe to the channel. If you're returning and not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. That's all you gotta do is just hit that button. But this one's a pretty odd turn of events in the Young Dolph case. The third suspect, Shondell Barnett, was accidentally released from Clay County. Right when I say accidentally, the Shelby County, or someone called them and told them to release Shondell Barnett. Now I'm wondering who was that that called and told the sheriff that he needed to be released, that they were not going to come up and get them. Or not them, but him. I mean, they said that they were Shelby County sheriffs, but you never know. It's just another voice on the end of the phone. So, first question is who called? The second question is he in witness protection? Was that the feds that called, you know, the Clay County Sheriff to let them release him with no reason or anything? But then why would he have the warrant? Now, you can even hear the sheriff say for, you, for himself that he has no clue what's going on with Shondell Barnett, whether he might have even been involved in the Young Dolph murder itself. The sheriff responded. I'm not sure what the warrant was for uh, out of Shelby County, Tennessee. Uh, all I knew was that there was a warrant for his arrest, uh, whether he was involved in the uh, altercation in Tennessee or was just uh, a passenger in the vehicle with the other individual, I don't know. Which kind of makes sense because who was driving, you know, unless these two that we see on the camera were driving, but it would just be easier to have a third driver, but it would be easier to have a third driver, but it wouldn't be easier because it would be another person that could easily, you know, say what's going on and just snitch on everybody. But, at the end of the day, this whole, this whole case is just fucked up, you know? They should have never let Shundale out until this whole thing was done, or that they knew for sure that he had nothing to do with it, you know? But, I looked up his warrant, and he definitely has a warrant out of Shelby County for the same charges as uh, Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith had their warrants for prior to this. Now, just based on that, like I said, I think he was there, but, you know, we'll find out as more unfolds, and thank you for watching, and staying all in, or nothing. This is your boy Cookie, signing off. Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use.